एटीन हंड्रेड आवर्स पाकिस्तान स्टैंडर्ड टाइम असलम दिस इज रेडियो पाकिस्तान द न्यूज रेड बाय फरजान खान फर्स्ट हेडलाइंस प्राइम मिनिस्टर से दासू हाइड्रो पार प्रोजेक्ट एंड अदर प्रोजेक्ट ऑफ डेकेड ऑफ डैम्स विल इमेंसली बेनिफिट द कंट्री अपॉन देर कंप्लीशन बाय टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी एट Pakistan, Afghanistan and Turkey have emphasized their active participation in the Afghan peace process and regional fight against terrorism. Foreign minister has expressed the hope that Afghan parties will solve the opportunity and work out an inclusive politically negotiated settlement. The All Party Zuriyat Conference has welcomed the statement of Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi regarding warning Indian government against taking any illegal steps to change the democracy of the internationally recognized disputed territory. <laughs> Saudi Arabia's air defense has destroyed six armed drones launched by Houthi rebels towards the kingdom. In the play-off leg of Pakistan Super League at Abu Dhabi, two matches will be played tomorrow. And now the news in detail. Prime Minister Imran Khan says the Asu Hydro Power Project is one of the projects which will immensely benefit the country upon their completion by 2028. In a pinned tweet with a video clip of project briefing, the Prime Minister expressed the confidence that during the decades of dams which began in 2018, all projects will be completed. He said the Asu Hydro Power Project, which is the most significant, will add 1,200 billion units of electricity and it will guarantee the environmental conservation besides. the economic and social development of Pakistan earlier in another tweet today the prime minister said the government's water conservation policies are showing results as punjab government has stopped depletion of lahore's ground water for the first time since 1980 he said the depletion of water table has been stopped through effective water recycling policies new aquifer charges underground rainwater storage timed well pumping and other targeted actions Foreign ministers of Iran, Afghanistan and Turkey held a trilateral meeting in Antalya, Turkey today. In the meeting, Iran's Mohammad Javad Zarif, Afghanistan's Mohammad Hanif Atmar and Turkey's Mevlut Cavusoglu emphasized active participation of their countries in the peace process in Afghanistan and the regional fight against terrorism. They also agreed to cooperate with Afghanistan on transit through Iran's transportation routes and also on expanding economic ties with Afghanistan Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi has expressed the hope that Afghan parties would seize the opportunity and work out an inclusive politically negotiated settlement. Talking to his Turkish counterpart Mevlut Cavusoglu in Antalya today, he also illustrated Pakistan's consistent efforts to facilitate the Afghan peace process. Shah Mahmood Qureshi lauded Turkey's valuable efforts and its outreach to various Afghan parties. The two foreign ministers exchanged views on the latest developments in the Afghan peace process. and the withdrawal of international troops from Afghanistan earlier talking to the US channel CNN in Antalya the foreign minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi called for engaging with the Afghan government and Taliban for taking them on board before pursuing a proposal of handing over the security of Kabul airport to Turkey he said they should get them on board before actually going about doing it The foreign minister said in his view Turkey is providing services including soldiers to keep the airport open and maintain Kabul's connection with the world. Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi says Pakistan is committed to promote regional unity and contacts as a founding member of Economic Cooperation Organization. He expressed these views during an informal meeting with ECO Secretary General Dr. Hadi Suleimanpour on the sidelines of Antalya Diplomacy Forum in Turkey. The foreign minister said Pakistan in the light of ECO framework is making sincere efforts for mutual trade, economic development and regional peace. The ECO Secretary General general commended Pakistan's proactive and vibrant role in the economic cooperation organization 
As the international community observed World Refugee Day today, Pakistan reiterates its call for greater global responsibility sharing, redoubling of efforts for durable solutions, and an early peaceful political settlement in Afghanistan. Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi, in his message on the occasion, said the peaceful political settlement in Afghanistan could pave the way for dignified, time-bound, and well-resourced repatriation of refugees supported by the international community. This is Radio Pakistan giving you the news. A special consignment of Sinovac vaccine of 1.55 million doses has arrived at Islamabad airport through a special PIA flight in China. According to NCOC, this is part of planned contracted quantity purchased from China. China, as time-tested friend of Pakistan, has taken special measures to ensure uninterrupted supply of vaccines to Pakistan. Another consignment of 2 to 3 million doses of Chinese vaccines will reach Pakistan next week. Measures are in place to transport the vaccines to all the federating units according to their requirements. Minister for Information and Broadcasting, Fabad Chaudhary, has said the PTI wants to strengthen the parliament. Talking to media persons at Karachi Press Club today, he said the opposition parties have no agenda and they are weakening the parliament and democracy. Fabad Chaudhary said that overseas Pakistan is trusted in Imran Khan and he is fighting for their voting right. He said that overseas Pakistanis have sent 1,000 billion rupees to Pakistan in terms of remittances, which is unprecedented. In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, the All Parties Hurriyat Conference has welcomed the statement of Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi, wherein he warned the Indian government against taking any illegal steps to change the demography of the internationally recognized disputed territory. APHC Working Vice Chairman Ghulam Ahmed Gulzar, in a statement issued in Sirinagar, termed the Indian conspiracies to bulldoze the land laws and allow influx of non local Hindus to settle in the disputed territory as a sheer violation of the UN Security Council resolutions. He expressed the hope that in view of the exemplary sacrifices rendered by the people of Kashmir for their freedom from Indian subjugation, Pakistan would continue its sincere efforts to highlight at all international fora the mass killings, arbitrary detentions and gross violation of fundamental rights by the Indian troops in occupied Jammu and Kashmir. The negotiations between Iran and six world powers on reviving their 2015 nuclear deal were adjourned in Vienna today without any further progress. Iran's delegation chief Abbas Arakchi told Iranian state television that although they reached closer than ever to an agreement, but the remaining differences cannot be easily overcome. He said bridging the gaps requires decisions that mainly the United States has to take. He also hoped to achieve a positive outcome in the next round of talks. Saudi Arabia's air defense has destroyed six armed drones launched by Houthi rebels towards the kingdom last night, bringing the total it intercepted in a day to 17. According to the Arab coalition, two more drones were fired at Khamis Mosheth, while eight drones fired towards the south of the kingdom, one of which was aimed towards the city of Najran. All of these were intercepted and destroyed. In Gaza, an exhibition of photographs of children who lost their lives during the latest Israeli attacks was organized in Khan Yunus. The display included photographs of Palestinian children killed in the attacks, dolls, cardboard models of Israeli warplanes that carried out airstrikes, and door keys which symbolized the right of Palestinians to return to their own land. And now cricket. In the playoff leg of Pakistan Super League at Abu Dhabi, two matches will be played tomorrow. Islamabad United will face Multan Sultans at 5 p.m., whereas in another match, Peshawar Zelmi will take on Karachi Kings at 10 p.m. And finally, the weather. Mainly hot and dry weather is expected in most parts of the country during the next 12 hours. However, dust with thunderstorm and rain is expected in East Sindh, Upper and Lower Punjab, Gilgil Baltistan, and Kashmir. To end the news, the main points once again. Prime Minister says Dasu Hydropower Project and other projects of decades of dams will immensely benefit the country upon their completion by 2028. Pakistan, Afghanistan and Turkey have emphasized their active participation in the Afghan peace process and regional fight against terrorism. 
foreign minister has expressed the hope that Afghan parties would seize the opportunity and work out an inclusive, politically negotiated settlement. And that is the end of the news. For more news and analyses, log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link facebook.com slash radio Pakistan 